everyone, how are you today? Lucia here from Laughing Without an Accent. I hope you're having an awesome day and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, welcome. On this channel, I'll do tons of subscription box unboxings. There's just some noise starting in the back of my neighbors doing some. I really hope I don't have to close the window because it's super hot. But if you're not new, welcome back. Thank you so much for your support. Today, I am unboxing the Summer Wordy Troubler uh, book box. This is a seasonal subscription box and it is or it was only a uh, non-fiction. So basically each season they choose a destination and they curate a book box based on that and items and books about that destination. For example, one of the boxes was uh, the Nordic uh, Northern Lights in the Nordic countries and then another one was the uh, National Park System. This one, I don't remember what it is, but the new thing is they started including the fiction option as well. So they have two options. They have one that is the full suitcase, and that is $109.99 per season, so it's every three months. Then they have the backpacking edition that is $49.99, and I believe you receive one book and uh, five to seven different items. And the full suitcase, you get three books. So yeah. Um, so let, and they also start including the fiction and nonfiction as well. So let me see the backpacking. Okay. Yeah. So they're the same price, the same amount, but you can choose now nonfiction or fiction. So I'm so excited because they sent me the fiction one, which is, I'm more interested in. Uh, but all the books from the nonfiction were super interesting and very fun to read. Uh, they just take me a little longer than fiction, you know? But let's see what destination this was. I can't remember. It's something tropical, but I can't remember. Or something like that. Ooh. Okay, so we have an envelope here. It says, uh, The Wardy Traveler, Wanderlust Fulfilled, Making the World a Better Place, One Book at a Time. And there's a little tussle coming out of there, so I want to check what this is. Uh, Wardy Traveler Book Club. Join the discussion with a private Facebook group. That is super cool. You can put it in your book and remember and then here it says a full suitcase oh okay so there's a product card here i love that summer journey Ooh. okay so let's see um and here we have a card from the desk of cindy nickel nichols and she is the creator and says reading is an escape from the outside world everyone needs a little of that to keep their sanity kim holden so that is so true so she um is writing a lot so if you you know it's very personal and i love it like she shares a lot of her experiences doing COVID 19 and how she's curating and also struggles so that is really cool um that is awesome so i think one of the things that it says that uh, they started to play the game where would i rather be quarantined and kind of dreaming about places to travel um so let me see if it says something about Okay, so French Polynesia is the destination. So that was a place that was in everyone's list and it has over 118 islands. Uh, so that is super cool. So that's French Polynesia. I'm so excited. I think there's one book in here that I had from the library and I didn't finish and I returned it, but I heard really good things about it. So I'm excited if, if it's here to read it. So they switched the, um, the tissue paper. It used to be like a really nice, unique purple, but this one is really pretty too with the sticker so let's get into the goodies we usually always get some tea from the Ohio tea company they make an exclusive blend for the theme and this one is island paradise and it's apple rose hip pineapple coconut pieces hibiscus hibiscus petals natural flavors so that sounds amazing and look at that label and this is a beautiful label if you can see i don't know if it says that is um caffeine or not but let's let's sniff it out i need to make some iced tea asap i just don't have pictures i need to get some pictures online Ooh, oh my gosh that smells amazing i can totally see the apple the coconut i don't know if you'll be able to see it but i'm trying to try to show you because of the lighting that is so yummy and it would be perfect iced, I'm sure. Okay, every month we get a print from the destination and I have three already, I'm saving them. I just need to get some frames that are this size. I think this is a very regular size, I would think, but this is beautiful and is a, uh, what is it? It's not here. 
Oh yeah, print by computer artist Oliver. It doesn't say what it is, but it has the French Polynesia, which is beautiful. When I was in Hawaii, I was in the French Polynesian Center. Okay, then we have this. Ooh, I think this is the reusable straw. Reusable travel straw kit. Ooh, and it's like one of those uh, silicone ones, and they have a little cleaner too. That is really cool. Oh, I've never seen one of these with no brush, but very practical. Ooh, okay, love it. I love that to have in your purse or travel pack back if you go or like suitcase. I'm not going anywhere. We were gonna go to Sequoias, but I don't think it's happening soon because you know you have to book it months in advance. So, okay, look at this beautiful cover. So beautiful, and it's like very matte and like one of those like velvety things. So, this is by Celestine Veit or Veite, and it's Frankie Pani. And is um, so this is a story set in Tahiti. And Celestine Vate was born and raised in Tahiti, and at 16, she fell in love with the spunky Australian surfer. They now both live on the south coast of Wales, of New South Wales, with their four children. So, um, let me read a little bit about it. it says her name is Materena Mahi and she's the best listener in Tahiti. Materena starts her new job as a professional cleaner at the same time she becomes the mother of her beautiful baby girl. Leilani is a challenge almost from the start, posing questions. Why doesn't it snow in Tahiti? That seemed to Materena not worth wondering about. What matters to Materena is passing along her own special wisdom. Always keep a breadfruit tree in your backyard, that way you'll never go hungry. To get rid of a wanted guest without hurting their feelings, broom around their feet. <laughs> That's a good one. Avoid foreigners at all costs. Foreigners eat raw fish with salad dressing. <laughs> Everyone around Materina seems to admire the cleverness and generosity, her appreciation of Tahitian tradition. Everyone except perhaps Leilani, who has her own ideas about love, family, and island ways. And it says that it's a delightful novel that speaks to the universal nature of the mother mother daughter experience. Sounds really good. I totally want to read this. So that is awesome. We'll have that. And I just love that they're including fiction now. And look at this gorgeous cover, but the same author. Oh my goodness. This is uh, Tiara in Bloom. And. It says, celebrating love, marriage, and life surprises, Tahitian style. Tahitian style, maybe? Now that Materina Mahi is a big star with her radio talk show, Pito can't help noticing some changes in his wife. She's spending more time at work and with her girlfriends as she's cooking for Pito. And why does a Tahitian woman need to know how to drive anyway? He tries to shrug it off, but when Materina starts giving him the silent treatment, Pito has had enough. How is he supposed to fix things with Materina when she doesn't even give him a chance? Luckily for Pito, an opportunity arises when a baby girl named Tiara is left on the Mahi's doorstep. Eager to pull his weight and set things right, Pito embarks on a hilarious and noble journey to prove himself to the little girl, to his wife, and most important, to himself. So I wonder if... Uh, okay, so Tiara in blue. I don't know if this is before or after. I think this is after, um, but Materina is the same, Leilani's mom. So that is super cool, and I love the covers. This reminds me of other books that I've read. Um, so that is exciting so cool and then oh we have another book by the same author breadfruit so look at these covers you guys my goodness okay so let's see what is this about um, uh, let's see Will wedding bells ring for Materena? Novelists from Jane Austen to Jennifer Weiner have delighted readers with tales of a spirited young woman in pursuit of a good husband. But never until Breadfruit has the story been told Tahitian style. And there is a difference. Weddings are extremely rare in my family, explains author Celestine Biate. But we have a lot of baptisms. So when Materena Mahi fans encountered in their international acclaim Frankie, Frankie Pani, receives a proposal one night from drunken Pito. Her world is turned upside out, inside out. 
Their on again, off again nuptials become the center of a gentle comedy of tropical matters that marches towards the resolution that wise and clever Macarena cannot anticipate. So I guess this is, this would be like first in time, and then maybe Villate, Tiara in Bloom, and Frankie Pani. I don't know. We'll see. But I just love these books are so fun and colorful and they seem to follow a very funny uh, character in Maturina. But I'm really excited that they included all these, um, you know, all the same author. So you can follow along and kind of like keep the story going. I think it's really cool. Okay, let's keep going because we have a couple more items. We have a bookmark and a, um, oh, and I have... Oops. we have the charm and it's a beautiful wave let me see if we can, I'm gonna put this in there so you can see and now I have a charm bracelet and I don't know where the other ones are but I had a tree there was a tree and there was what was it for the northern lights a snowflake maybe yeah so I have a charm bracelet I can add these two and then we have a magnetic bookmark with some beautiful plants and what I love about this box is their bookmarks are always different and unique one time we got a tea like in silicone made like in you know like a rubbery plastic then we had a beautiful like leaf that was like metal they're all different every time which I love and then last but not least we have a cover-up it's called resort cover-up wrap and let's see Ooh. oh okay 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 wait a second actually you put it on like this oh my gosh I love this you put it on like that and I think your arms and it has little pearls like little pearls to hold it together oh my gosh this is beautiful how pretty let me see if I can stand up a little bit and show you there you go oh my gosh this is really nice it's short it goes down to my like waist my belly and it's not long but it's really really pretty and I'm sure you can also use it as um you take it out as a um scarf like this okay you can use it many ways which is beautiful I think that's so pretty what do you guys think that is super nice okay so let me get back in position here we got the beautiful wrap the bookmark and the charm that is always included um, then we got the three books by the same author that follow the same character, which I think is super excited. And it's all in Tahiti, which is awesome. I can't wait to like kind of be transported to that. I hope the author, I'm sure the author does a really good job. We have also some reusable straws and beautiful print and the yummy tropical blend tea that Ohio Tea Company made, Island Paradise. So always oh, caffeine free love it okay so that is awesome to drink throughout the day during a dinner you know and if even hot at night as well so love it i thought this box was awesome what do you guys think i'd love to know your thoughts and yeah now you have the um fiction option so if you were looking at this box and you're like ah the books are non-fiction that's not so much fun for me now you have a fiction option so let me know what you guys think the book that i saw uh and i think it came maybe in the backpacking edition was molokai and uh, it's about let me see huh. no maybe okay so that one was in the non-fiction option so they had the sea around us by rachel carson they had the hobby isles of oceania oceania i don't know how to say it pull throughout and then molokai which is a fiction option so it was in the nonfiction. That one I heard really good things about it. It's about a girl with leprosy and she is in, the, in an island in Hawaii. I can't remember exactly where, uh, but she gets sent to an island because she has leprosy. So it sounded really interesting. I didn't finish it, but I heard amazing things. So if you're into that as well, those are the options. The, that's in the full suitcase. The backpacking edition has the, the Hopi La Isles of Oceania. And then the backpacking edition of uh, the fiction has the Frankie Pani by Celestine Diante. So you got one book. 
so anyway if i have a code i will leave it down below let me let me know what you guys think about this box i'd love to hear your thoughts if you like to read more fiction or non-fiction i'd love to know mostly i'm more into fiction uh it's you know for me reading is more fun to escape and i just like to like imagine things and dream and fly <laughs> fly or travel uh and i read a lot of non-fiction in college well i don't hate it i love it i read a lot of spiritual books but Normally, since I have limited time now, I usually go for fiction books when I have the time. So anyway, thank you so, so much for joining me on another video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.